Greetings, Bethel children and families. I'm recording this video on Wednesday night after getting home from a full day at Bethel. And I have before me my dinner. It's pretty late in the evening and I'm finally sitting down to eat this delicious meal. And I'm so grateful because it was food that was put together by our youth, their parents, Julie Altheiser, our middle school ministry director, Kelsey Watkins, our high school ministry director, and it was waiting in my office so I could take it home and eat it. Now you might have noticed that I have a black cross on my forehead because today is Ash Wednesday and we had three worship services at Bethel that Pastor Jason and I were so glad to lead. It is the beginning of the season of Lent and Ash Wednesday reminds us of our mortality and of the things that draw us away from God. Now, as you watch this on Saturday night or Sunday in worship, it is also the first weekend in worship in the season of Lent. And our gospel story is about how Jesus was tempted to be drawn away from God. We'll hear about how three times he was tempted by the devil in the wilderness. Have you ever been tempted to do something or say something that you knew might not be good for you or for your friends or your family? Temptations are all around us. For example, I look at this delicious meal and I'm so hungry and my stomach's growling, I just want to gobble it up as fast as I can and fill up my tummy. However, it would be better for me to take my time, slow down, and enjoy this gift of food. Or I look at this delicious plate full of chicken and scalloped potatoes and green beans and a wonderful roll and a brownie and I am so excited. I just want to eat the very first thing being the green beans. Mmm, vegetables. Well, I'm joking a little bit. I do like green beans. In fact, they're really, really yummy. But I'm tempted to eat the brownie. It looks so good, chocolatey, delicious. However, I would be wise to set it aside and to eat the nutritious food first and save dessert for last. Or maybe I don't eat the brownie tonight because it's so late and I save it for a treat tomorrow afternoon. Well, whether tempted to rush through a meal or eat dessert first, Jesus' temptations are more challenging, yet Jesus makes it very clear to the devil and to all the powers that want to draw us away from God. Jesus says, do not put the Lord your God to the test. And then the devil was gone. You see, the power of God is always stronger than anything at work in our world. We say in baptism that in Christ, God is stronger than evil, the devil, and all his empty promises. This is most certainly true. Let us pray. Gracious God, when we are tempted to eat too fast, to have dessert first, or to stray from your promises to us, help us trust that you will always provide what we need from day to day. You are our strength. You grant us forgiveness. And in Jesus, you will love us always and never abandon us, but promise to be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I am going to have my evening meal right now. It is true, the Lord provides all you need and I'm so grateful for this food and of course, brownies. But until we meet again, we continue now with worship.